Hey guys! Um, so today I'm going to be doing my Snapchat hacks video. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a really long time, but my screen thingy keeps glitching, which I will put right here. And, um, that's pretty much it. And if you see the audio and the resolution of this video is not as it was before in my previous videos, it's because I'm filming this on my laptop. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the multiple text lines. A lot of people know about this, but some don't, so I just want to show it. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to take a picture. Any picture, put a filter on it, or whatnot. And then you go to notes. You go to notes and then you click the return button at the right bottom right hand corner. You're going to click it how many ever times you want. It depends if you want like how long or how many spacings you want. You select all. You either cut or copy. And then you're going to put whatever you want. It will show up like that. And if you want to delete how many ever lines, you just go to the bottom and you X that out. X that out. There we go. Bam. So that's how you do the multiple text line. So the next thing I'm going to teach you is the color pitch and zoom. So all you got to do is you just take a picture. Take a picture of my wall because simple basic. Um, all you're going to want to do is you're gonna wanna take a picture, done, voila. You gotta tech, you gotta add. You gotta push this T in the right hand top corner and you're gonna type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna do this random. And I'm gonna do, and you're gonna click that T and you tap on it and you can actually, which is really cool, you zoom and you make it smaller. It, you can do it however you like. I zoom it all the way and then I change the color or whatever I want. Everybody knows how to change the color. So yeah, beautiful. So your, for your third one, you're gonna wanna hold, you're gonna wanna take a picture, which is my picture. You're gonna wanna put a filter on it and you're gonna hold down your phone screen and then you're gonna wanna swipe it so you have whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Now the fourth thing I'm gonna teach you is black and white colors. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, oops, take a picture. You're gonna wanna click on your drawing icon and you can see all these colors but you don't see black and white. You hold it and you drag it to the side and that's white and you drag it down to the darker colors and it's black. Voila, pretty much it. One of the next hacks is one of my very favorites, and I use this most of the time because it's my favorite. And it's called emoji filters. Uh, very cool. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this, which is really surprising. So all you're going to want to do is take a photo. Very photogenic, as you can see. You're going to want to click on this wallpaper icon in the very top. And you're going to want to choose an emoji. I'm gonna choose a grape one because I love the color purple. Blue more though. And then you're gonna zoom in to the pixels until you see the purple tint-ish. And it's kind of like pink, but if you zoom in all the way, it's, oh, see, if you glitch out on it, it just stays like that. And there we go. Filter, done, voila. Some of the time it doesn't work because it is an emoji and it is zoomed into the pixel. So it looks really weird if you post it on your story or send it to someone. So just a warning. But yeah, one of my very favorites, emoji filters. Now the next thing isn't really gonna be really surprising or new. It's just for the people who do not know how to use Snapchat or first timers for Snapchat and they just wanna know the details. Uh, a lot of people already know this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, take a picture, and you're gonna wanna click on the wallpaper icon again, and you're gonna wanna choose most of your favorite emojis. I'm just gonna use that. Click on it again, emoji. Click on it again, emoji. So yeah, pretty much basic. A lot of people already know this. 
and that's it. As you can see through the video, I'm trying to explain that some people do know about this stuff and some people do not know. So the next thing I'm going to teach you, a lot of people already know, and it works in camera mode too. I'm going to want to do if you're with a group of friends or something and you want to take a group photo without clicking the button in and you mess it up and then someone like blinks or something, you just want to position it and click the volume button. Done. Selfie. I just wanted to do a fun fact about this is that if you drag up and you see the um, trophy at the top, you click on it, those are all your trophies that you earned. I haven't earned really much, but I still earned pretty much half of them, which is a really good thing for me because I don't go on Snapchat that much. And if you want to add me on Snapchat, self promo, you can, uh, you can just take a, your phone out and take a picture of this, or I'll put it at the end of the video, which is pretty much it. It's just a fun fact. It's not really a hack. Last but not least, a lot of people use this feature. Uh, I don't personally because I don't really have anything interesting to upload. But you're going to want to download two apps. I will show you on the screen right here. It's called Snap Upload. There's two of them. You can choose any one of them. Um, I usually choose this one. So click on it. You're going to have to sign in to your Snapchat. And you can choose any photo you want out of all of these. I know I have tons of selfies. Uh, moving on. I'm just going to use this Disney background. And you can either click on the draw button and you can add text, draw, stickers, frames, meme, crop, effects, focus, enhance, orientation, and all these other stuff. Uh, then you're going to add, click the wallpaper emoji like regular Snapchat and you can choose an emoji. And you, yeah, enhance it. And bam, and you text and you're like, hey. And you can change that. And you can send it to anyone. I prefer sending it to, I'm not gonna really show, I'm gonna blur that out because a lot of people on my Snapchat do not want to be seen on my uh, YouTube. And I'm just gonna click my story and it will send to my story and you're gonna have to watch an ad if you want to upload more stuff, you're going to have to earn coins or buy coins. And that's all for today. And bye.